In this video, we'll go over some amazing new Unreal Engine 5 tutorials that will be useful for you as a beginner or an advanced user. You will learn how to create photorealistic landscapes using the power of Path Tracer. Also create an amazing island environment that is surrounded by the ocean. Additionally, you will learn how to create a main menu and use it at the start of your video game or interactive scenes and see a breakdown of the latest Punisher scene used in his last challenge called Moving Meditation. Furthermore, you will learn about modeling inside the Unreal Engine 5, create a swimming system animation, and a lot more. First, we're going to start with Gabe, who made an amazing tutorial over at his channel about creating photorealistic landscape using the Unreal Engine 5. While the tutorial also briefly talks about how to use other software like Gaia Bleeding Edge, Speedtree Games and DaVinci Resolve, you can definitely use other software that you are comfortable with following the pipeline of this tutorial. This video is all about creating this grassland environment and trying to make it look as realistic as possible. Gabe will cover some of the interesting topics like the use of Path Tracer to render projects inside Unreal Engine 5 and you will learn how to create and animate cameras inside the sequencer. In addition to creating plants and foliage and placing them inside the engine and a lot more. For example, in the beginning of the video, he will try to explain why he chose the Path Tracer. Instead of using lumen or ray tracing reflections, he will go on to explain that the Path Tracer gives you more control over the render as it provides you with physically accurate global illumination, reflections and refractions. Additionally, he will go on to explain that after some testing, rendering foliage with Path Tracer, a lot more realism will be added to the scene compared to using Lumen. Not to mention that by using this rendering method, he will get incredibly accurate shadows from plants all the way into the far distance of the environment. This 28 minute tutorial is super easy to follow and it is made especially for Unreal Engine 5 users, from beginners to intermediate and probably experienced users as well. Now, let's hop over to the Magnet FX channel to check another amazing tutorial made especially for those who are just diving into the Unreal Engine 5's universe. We will learn how to create this breathtaking beach and island scene in just over 45 minutes. What I love most about this tutorial is that it will teach you how to tackle different aspects of the Unreal Engine 5 in a very simple and smooth way. You will start by learning how to create a new empty level and you will go from there to use different Unreal Engine 5 tools to achieve the environment that you have in mind. You will also learn how to use different plugins, where to find them and how to add them to your projects like Oceanology and Brushify plugins. You will even acquire the knowledge of downloading free Unreal Engine 5 scenes in addition to assets and migrating them over to your project. Add to that, knowing how to activate plugins once inside Unreal, in addition to parameters and using volumetric clouds. Also create different types of lights and adjusting them according to your scene, setting up and playing around with volumetric fog, sky and sun positions. You will also get to use important Unreal Engine 5 tools such as landscape, foliage in addition to others. Overall, you will find this tutorial really helpful, especially if you are afraid of using Unreal Engine as a beginner, as it will simplify a lot of tools and features in the engine so you can embark on your journey of exploring this amazing piece of software. In this next one, you will learn how to create a main menu for your game or interactive scene from scratch. This is a little bit advanced as you need to have some basic understanding of how to use the Unreal Engine 5's viewport, editor and navigation system. You will start by opening the third person template that comes integrated with the engine. And from there, you will learn how to use the widget tool to create the UI and the menu that you want. After that, you will get to use blueprints in order to set up a menu and make it appear when you start the game or application. You will learn how to add a background of your choice and you're gonna do this for the main menu so that it will not appear as black once you open it. Overall, this tutorial covers the topics of creating simple UI menus in a very simple and thoughtful way even if you have never used a widget tool or blueprints inside Unreal Engine 5 before. So, we all know about challenges that Punisher organizes every now and then to inspire 3D artists around the world to create amazing pieces of art and to compete and to help grow and unify the 3D community. For this last challenge, Moving Meditations, Punisher shared his step-by-step -step tutorial on creating his own entry to the challenge. 
he actually used Unreal Engine in order to create his scene and focused on two important topics. First is to create photorealistic environments using Unreal Engine 5 and second is to complete it in just 20 days, which using other software can be really hard and tedious. But since Unreal Engine gives you the chance to work in real time, the challenge was completed successfully. He started by gathering references of warehouses from the internet and compiled them into a great software called PureRef, which by the way, I highly recommend checking PureRef because it is fantastic when it comes to reference images. So, after that he started by blocking out his entire scene as quickly as possible so that he can tweak the lighting, texture and composition before going into details. He used scene camera and simple objects to block out the scene and then added lights and objects for mega scans that are completely free to use for Unreal Engine 5 users. After that he added a post process volume to tweak and adjust the brightness and saturation attached to the view. Furthermore, you will see how the artist started to dive deep into the details of the scene, some he made directly inside Unreal Engine 5 and some he imported from the Mega Scans library, while others were modeled in Cinema 4D. For the outdoor elements, he imported huge buildings from Kitbash, and he built an emissive texture to simulate the cityscape lights, and he integrated it into the imported buildings, and this is where you will learn more about using textures and materials inside the engine. After that, you will learn how to use decals, raindrops, and smudges to add more realism to the scene. Finally, you will learn more about the different render settings inside Unreal Engine and how to use the sequencer to edit your videos or animations. Overall, I totally recommend this tutorial if you are fairly new to Unreal Engine 5 and the good thing is that you probably feel involved in the community with these different challenges that Punisher organizes and who knows, probably one day you're gonna be the winner. Next, we will learn how to create a swimming system or a pattern of swimming. First, you will start by enabling the water plugin, and then you will tackle some important tools and features, starting with the landscape tool that is needed in order to create the terrain where you can test your swimming system. Next, you will place the water body ocean blueprint. Now, you have a small island with ocean surrounding it, and it is time to teach our character to swim. To do that, you will go over how to use blueprints and custom event system to trigger the swimming animation every time your character will touch the ocean and stop it when you get out of the water. You will see a lot of things about different movement nodes and what they are used for in addition to how to organize them and compile them so that it will be easier for you every time you want to modify something. After setting up all the right nodes and blueprints, you will start learning the fundamentals about animation and how to apply them to your character. You will have the chance to download and apply ready streaming animations and integrate them successfully with your character. This tutorial is straightforward and can be satisfying to watch. Now we're gonna jump to the VR Division channel to learn how to model directly inside the Unreal Engine 5. You will see how to use mesh editing and 3D modeling tools inside the engine, which has seen a huge step forward compared to the Unreal Engine 4. This can be really helpful if you want to block out the scene that you intend to work on. This way you won't have to go from software to another, especially for this part of workflow. All you have to do is to use the tools directly inside the engine. And what's even more interesting is that even if you imported 3D meshes from an external software, you will somehow stumble upon bad UVs or flipped faces. But you can use these tools to fix or edit these meshes or assets without having to go back to the external 3D software, which can be really great for your pipeline. In these sets of videos, you will go over the modeling process and the modeling tools available in the Unreal Engine 5. You will learn how to create basic shapes and use advanced tools to modify or create complex shapes. Then you will see how to apply different operations to static meshes already imported in the engine. In addition to tools like Polymodel, Trimodel, Deform, Transform, UVs, Baking, and so on. You will also go over some different transformations like moving, rotating, and scaling. Not to mention that you will learn about how polygons and meshes are made inside Unreal Engine 5 and how to adjust them to your liking. This tutorial can be really helpful for everyone who is trying to dive deeper into the world of the Unreal Engine 5 and learn about the modeling tools and how to integrate it into the modeling workflow. If you are interested in these tutorials, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you.
in the next one.